Welcome to a quick whistle-stop tour of a Jewish synagogue. If you don't already know, a synagogue is a place in which Jews come to pray, practically all throughout the day. Orthodox Judaism has three prayers a day, which can take place in the synagogue. But a synagogue is not only limited to a place of worship, it is fundamentally a place of learning and community as well. Traditionally in Judaism, men will cover their head with a kippah before entering the main sanctuary as a way to show respect for God. Women are not obliged to do this, however, they too will often cover their heads to show they are married. This is the main sanctuary, which is the place where most of the prayer services are held. At the entry on the door, there is always a mezuzah which contains the words of the Torah. By touching this as they enter the synagogue, Jews are reminded to follow the laws of God. Men pray down on the lower floor, whilst women sit up in the gallery. Men and women traditionally sit separately during prayer services as to avoid distraction and to give their undivided attention to God. Synagogues are traditionally built orientated towards Jerusalem, the holy city, and the site of the original temple. The most important element of a prayer hall is the Ark. This is where the Torah scrolls are kept. The scrolls are only ever taken out of the Ark during worship or on special festivals. The Ner Tamid is an eternal light which is kept burning above the Ark. This reflects God's eternal nature. The Bima is a place from which readings from the Torah are read on the Sabbath and on festivals and the place from which the rabbi will often give his sermons. Righty, that's all we've got time for on this whistle-stop tour of a traditional Jewish synagogue. As you can probably tell, I have only scratched the surface with detail on these elements that make up a Jewish synagogue. If you are interested more about their significance, then I will attach some links down in the description where you can do some extra reading. If you enjoyed this video, then well, consider giving it a thumbs up, or if it earned your subscription, then, you know, there's that little button underneath the video which you could press. Or I suppose the thumbs down will do as well if you didn't like the video. Right, that's all we've got time for, and thank you very much for getting to this point in the video, and Shalom!